Good morning children. How are you? How are you doing? I'm sure you must be enjoying watching so many videos and staying with your parents. Yes, I know you must be enjoying. So children, for chapter 2, we have already seen four videos where we learned counting in groups. We played a game more or less count and guess. Then that langdi tang game you remember hop till you drop we did that what else we did mm, join the dots you know we were we were we joined the dots starting from one and then moved on to two three four and so on and made lovely pictures and what else we learned one more thing we learned the ordinal numbers you know for one it is first for two it is second for three it is fourth for four it is fifth and so on so we have done so much so today children we are going to learn ascending and descending order of numbers now children i don't have a blackboard or a whiteboard so i want to explain it this concept while writing so I was wondering how to go about it. Then I had an idea. This concept I am going to explain to you on my computer. You will be able to, able to hear my voice but you will not be able to see me. But that's not a problem. You will see the work which I, I will be doing in the computer. Okay. So come on children. This is something new which is I'm going to which I am going to do today, and that is teaching you with the help of computer. Come, let's go. So, children, we are doing the chapter number two, counting in groups. In this chapter, we are going to learn ascending and descending order. First of all, we will learn ascending order the meaning of ascending order is sm small to big like you stand in assembly the child who is smallest it means whose height is less he stands first of all then the next child stands who is taller than the first one and so on. The tallest child stands last in the line. So this is how the children stand. See, this is how the children stand in the increasing of height order. So same is the meaning of ascending order. The children are standing in ascending order of their heights. Now we have to arrange these numbers in ascending order. For arranging the numbers in ascending order, the very first thing is you must always read the numbers. I'm going to read the numbers. 13, 17, 14, 19. When you read the number, you understand the numbers. Children, in, they are all two digit numbers. You can see there are two digits in them. This is ones place digit and this is tens place. In 17, 7 is at ones place, 1 is at tens place. In 14, 4 is at 1's place and 1 is at 10's place. In 19, 9 is at 1's place and 1 is at 10's place. So children, please notice in all the numbers, 10's place digit is same. So we have to decide out of these numbers, which number has the smallest ones place digit. I think 13 is the number which has 
the smallest one once place digit after 13 14 will come after 14 17 will be there and last of all 19 will be there see 13 is the smallest and do you recognize this sign this sign the mouth is closed here because this is a smaller number and the mouth is open here it means this is the bigger number out of these two numbers after this we have to see 14 and 17 out of 14 and 17 14 is smaller so the mouth is closed towards the smaller side and open towards the bigger number now out of 17 and 19 17 is smaller so the mouth is closed towards 17 and open towards 19 so the numbers in ascending order are 14 14 17 and 19 okay let's do the same with another set of numbers this is another set of numbers here we let us first read the numbers the moment you read the number numbers you will automatically understand which one is bigger and which one is smaller 15 18 30 10 now children in all these numbers the ones place digit is same 0 0 0 and 0 but the tens place digit is different here's the tens place digit is 5 here it is 8 here's tens tens place digit is 3 and here it is so think out of these which number is the smallest number i know you can make out yes 10 is the smallest. After 10, next number is 30. After 30, the bigger number is 50. And out of these, the biggest number is 80. So, let us see how do we write it. Yes. So, children, 10 is the smallest. So, the mouth is closed towards the side of 10. And 30 is bigger than 10, so the mouth is open towards the side of 30. Out of 30 and 50, 30 is smaller, so this mouth is close towards 30, and here the mouth is open towards 50. Out of 50 and 80, 50 is smaller, so mouth is close towards 50 and is open towards 80. Okay. Let us do one more set of numbers. Now, 66, 22, 99, 44. 66, 22, 99, 44. Now children, decide which number comes first of all while writing counting. Yay, 22 comes first of all. 22 is the smallest. After 22, who is the, which is the next bigger number? 44 is the next bigger number. And after 44, which is the next bigger number? This, no. 66 is the next bigger number. And out of these, which is the biggest number? 99. 99 is the biggest number. Let us see. Yes. Similarly, we have written 22, 44, 66, 99. So we are going from a smaller number to bigger numbers. 99 being the biggest of all. Okay, 
Now we are going to start the descending order. Descending means big to small. It is the opposite of ascending. In descending order, the biggest number should come first. So let us first read the numbers. That is our drill. We will read the numbers. 13, 17, 14, 19. We have to decide which number is the biggest. 19 is the biggest. So 19 should come first of all. Now the number which is slightly smaller than 19 is 17. So 17 will come next. And after 17, whether 13 should come or 14 should come? Think. What should come? 14. And out of this, these four numbers, which is the smallest number? 13. So 13 will come last of all. So children, these are the numbers in descending order. 19, 17, 14 and 13. Again, you have to look at this sign, children. It is the, in this sign, the mouth is open towards the number which is bigger. See, 19 is bigger than 17. So, mouth is open towards 19. 17 is bigger than 14. So, mouth is open towards 17. 14 is bigger than 13. So, mouth is open towards 14. Okay. Now we have one more set of numbers. We have to arrange these numbers again in descending orders. Descending order means big to small. So let us read the numbers. 50, 80, 30 and 10. The biggest number you have to pick up and write first of all. It is going to be 80 out of these the biggest number is 80. Now, which is the next slightly smaller number than 80? It is 50. After 50, which is slightly smaller than 50? 30. And which is the smallest of all? 10. Okay. Let us see whether we are writing it correctly. Yes, we are writing this correctly. 80 is the biggest. Again, mouth is open towards 80. 50 is slightly smaller than 80. 30 is slightly smaller than 50. And 10 is the smallest of all. Let us see this set of numbers. And first of all, we are going to read them. 66. 22, 99, 44. Again, we have to arrange them in descending order. Descending means big to small. So, out of these, we have to pick the biggest number. Which is the biggest number? 99. It is the biggest out of these. So, after 99, which is the slightly smaller number than 99? 66. After 99, 66 will come. And after 66, which is slightly smaller than 66? 22, no, 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 no. 44. 44 is slightly smaller than 66. And which is the smallest number? 22. And this is how we are going to write the odd numbers in descending order. 99, 66. 44 and 22. And look at these signs, children. The mouth of these signs is again always open towards the bigger number. Out of these two, 99 is bigger. So the mouth is open towards 99. Out of these two, 66 is bigger. So mouth is open towards 66. Out of these two, 44 is bigger. So mouth is open towards 44. So this is how we arrange the numbers 
in descending and ascending order. Hope you have understood children. After this, we will do a few exercises. Thank you.